I'm making a U-turn in the parking lot, about to pull off on the highway, and Courtney goes, stop. And right then, Courtney just began to, to pray for our babies, protection over our babies, pleading the blood of Jesus over their lives, not knowing what event would happen the next day. It was July 2019. Brandon and Courtney McKee had busy work schedules and decided to take their kids to her mom's house for a few days. Two-year-old Max and his older brother Brody were excited to spend time with their Nana. She has a big farm and a pool, and they just wanted to spend a few days uh, with her while we both worked. Immediately after dropping the kids off, Courtney was overwhelmed with an urgent need to pray for their safety. It was just like a, a presence of the Holy Spirit just prompting me at that moment to pray, just pray for their protection. It was indescribable. The next day while at work, Courtney received a phone call from her sister-in-law. She was crying and I could hear, you know, sirens in the background and a lot of commotion. And it was at that moment where she told me that they had found Max at the bottom of the swimming pool. Max was unresponsive when pulled from the pool. They called 911 and did what they could to resuscitate Max. His brother Brody remembers the moment and his response. The only thing I could do was pray. So I dropped on my knees and I said, God, can you help my little brother? Can you just save him? Can you put your guardian angels around him, Lord? Can you just help him, protect him, Lord? Max was revived and rushed by ambulance to a nearby trauma center. Brandon and Courtney each began their long drive to the hospital, praying for Max while wrestling with unanswered questions. How long has he been down there? What's the outcome? I can't hear him. I can't talk to him. I can't feel him. I can't touch him. I don't see him. God, please help, help my baby. I remember just crying out to God, almost like I was begging him, God, I'll do anything. I don't know what you want from me, Lord, but I just beg you, save my baby. Don't take my baby from me. Whatever you do, Lord, don't take my baby. Dr. Marvin Matta, the director of pediatric ICU at Rapides Women's and Children's Hospital knew the risks Max was facing. He was having a hard time breathing, and every minute's matter when our brain lacks oxygen, it can have some profound effects. It can cause memory issues, it can cause learning disabilities, and uh, the most worrisome would be uh, brain death. We need to really closely watch Max during that first 24 hours. It's almost like the golden period. If there's going to be complications that would happen, usually we'll see it within that period of time. And Max had tubes and wires and cords attached to him and monitors. And they lifted Max and they put me on the bed and they put Max on my chest. And I remember when they did, I just started to cry and I kept saying, Max, it's gonna be okay, Mama's here. Mama's here, you're gonna be fine. And I just remembered the emotions of that moment. As word spread, hundreds of people from their church and community prayed for Max. Our pastor came, tons of friends that are prayer warriors came and they just surrounded his bed and we grabbed hands and we prayed. We just brought down the power of the Lord that day. Oh my goodness, it's just knowing that the community of, of Christ, believers in, in, in faith come together at a time of need to, to pray for our baby. I mean, it's just, it means the world to you. After a night of prayer and waiting, they received their answer. The next morning, Max showed signs that he was Max again. And I knew immediately there was no neurological deficits and Max was gonna be okay. You knew that at that point that our prayers had been answered and, and God really stepped in on behalf of our family. I'm taking the prayers. God can do exceedingly and abundantly more than we could ever ask or imagine. So we knew who to call on and how to call on him. And I know he's here with no signs of any complications because of the power of prayer. Max made a full recovery. Sometime after the accident, he revealed something to his parents. He looked at us one day and he said, when I was in that pool, I wasn't scared. And we were like, that's great, buddy. And he said, when I was in the bottom of that pool, Jesus held me. And my husband and I just kind of looked at each other in shock. And then he stopped and he said, 
Why does he have scratches on his hands? Jesus got, got me out of water. He had bobos and scratches on his hands and feet. can't remember they are right here. In that moment, you're just sitting there like praising God, just like, thank you so much. And knowing that he performed a miracle on my baby and that he held my baby at his most vulnerable moment of his two-year-old life. I mean, wow, I, I was just speechless at that time. It's me and Jesus. And Jesus is holding me like he saved me in the pool. I look back on all he did and how he brought my baby out of that water. He held him in the water. And that's known beyond a shadow of a doubt in my mind. I, I'm so thankful. I'm, I'm eternally grateful. I'm Max and I'm a miracle.